Oh, hello! Long time no see, huh? Yeah, I know we've been away for, for a while, but uh, we've been working on some new projects, exciting stuff. And um, very soon I, I hope we're gonna tell you about it because it's still, you know, that there's still some stuff to, 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 to figure out. But, um, but for now I have some exciting news. For the longest time I've been dreaming about a laser cutter. And the laser cutters are so cool because they cut very precisely and they leave this perfect edge that you don't need to sand. The cuts are clean straight out of the machine and therefore they are perfect for model making. So there's two ways you can go about this. You can buy a cheap one from China for a couple hundred bucks and then you can do all kinds of upgrades yourself to get it working properly, for which you need to be technically savvy, which I'm not, and I wouldn't be able to do these things myself. Or you can get the more expensive version from a legit company, and that one will work straight out of the box. So one day I just got the idea to contact the company named Flux, uh, with the hopes that they might be interested in supporting our channel and the work that we do. And I of course explain everything about Slice of Life, and about our inexhaustible love for miniatures. And I didn't really know what to expect, but um, they, they really, really liked our work and decided to support us with the biggest laser cutter from their laser cutter family, uh, the Beambox Pro. I, I know, right? I guess it's one of the perks of spending half of your life in a garage making a, a short sci-fi film. Uh, but, but anyway, um, thanks a lot to the Flux company and, uh, you know, we, we really, really appreciate it. Okay, so the box arrived one day, very nicely packed, with this cool pyramid on top, so they wouldn't stack anything uh, on, on the box during shipping. And it came on a plastic pallet that can come really handy if you're building an Ostromo corridor at home. The machine itself was very well protected inside of the box. There's a big foam piece at every corner. And, and about that point I realized I won't be able to lift it by myself. I actually had to ask my wife for help to get it from the box to the table. The Beambox Pro is essentially a huge metal box and it's in one piece and it weights about 50 kilos. So then I remove the plastic packaging. Uh, it's, it feels really well made. It looks like something from Star Wars. The rest of the components are cleverly packaged inside the working area of the machine. Here's the knob that you turn and it lowers the whole bed. And now the laser can move freely which allows me to take the box out. It was very firmly packaged, it couldn't move during the shipping, which is very clever on their part. Alright, so I plug it into the power and let's start it for the first time. Oh! The laser cutter is water cool, so before I could start using it, I had to fill it with distilled water. It looks like a flux capacitor. I didn't really have any distilled water at home, so I took it out of my uh, dryer, <laughs> which is a nice life hack. And with that the machine was basically ready to use. The laser needs to be at a certain distance from the material that it cuts. And um, you need to set the focus with the plastic thingy that you lower down. And then you lower or raise the bed accordingly. The laser head actually has a camera on it. And you just select which part do you want it to scan. And it takes a series of pictures and connects it into a bigger picture for you. And then you can exactly see where the uh, material that you want to cut is placed, right? And then you can just put the design exactly on the place where you want it. So it's very straightforward and very practical. The laser cutter is actually burning material when it's cutting. And uh, when it's burning wood, it's producing smoke. And when it's burning acrylic, it produces some fumes that you don't really want to breathe. So I did a very sloppy job of connecting a flexible tube to the exhaust and directing it out of the door. And then it was time for the first cut. It really did uh, one hell of a job. It was, it was very elegant, it was a joy to watch it work. And what I was especially interested in was the placement to see how the camera is accurate. Because um, I accidentally put the design a little bit to the left. And if you compare it to the actual piece, you can see the same thing. On the left there's less space than on the right. So actually the camera and the precision works extremely well. The software that comes with the machine is called Beam Studio. It's available for download for free on their website, uh, which is cool because it means you can use the machine even if you don't own any other software. Beam Studio provides you with uh, basic tools for drawing shapes like square, circles, you have a pen tool for custom shapes, and of course text editor just like any other program. So you can do simple designs in it and just send it to the machine. 
but it's also compatible with some other popular softwares. So I basically use Adobe Illustrator for my vector designs and I just send it to Beam Studio to start cutting. Uh, Beam Studio also comes with these practical test sample designs that you can quickly run and test the material that you work with. It cuts a small chart with uh, different variations of speed and strength and then you can reference it when you want to work with that same material in the future. You can do cutting charts and engraving charts. S speaking of engraving, I, I tested that as well. I completely randomly chose uh, this picture and I, I just dropped it into Beam Studio. You can also tweak the contrast if you want to engrave it lighter or darker or you can sharpen it. Engraving takes a, a lot more time than cutting, so it took about one and a half hours for this picture, but the finished product was very, very nice and sharp. So after a couple of weeks, I finally moved my beam box into the place where it's gonna live, uh, and I connected the exhaust tube to a hole in the window. I also took this wonderful opportunity and washed my windows for the first time in uh, probably 10 years. Um, and, oh, and of course I also cut the obligatory Slice of Life logo. Okay, so final thoughts. I was, I was using it for a couple of weeks now. And I must say I'm really, really satisfied with the machine. I used it to cut MDF, plywood and plexiglass. But it's stated in technical data that it can also engrave on glass and metals, but I didn't try it out yet. Alright, and now I want to talk about the price. The price is no secret. At the time of making this video, it's stated on their website that Beambox Pro costs 4,095 euros, excluding tax. And of course, it's not a small amount of money for somebody who's just gonna use it for a hobby and not for making money from it. But apart from the Beambox Pro, they have two other machines. Uh, the middle one is Beambox and the smallest is Beemo. So compared to my Beambox Pro that has the work area of 60 by 37 centimeters, Beemo has the work area of 30 by 21 centimeters, which is exactly the size of A4 paper. So even if you have a, a bigger design, you can just split it into a couple of parts, cut it out and just connect them, you know, afterwards. So um, honestly, if they didn't send us the Beambox Pro, I guess we would just buy Beemo and do our miniature work on that. One thing I would like to point out is that uh, Laser Cutter is a very intuitive machine. So for example, if you, if you want to work on the CNC machine, there's a lot of the settings that you need to take into account. The speed of the router, the depth of each pass, the speed of the milling bit. What kind of a milling bit are you using? What kind of material do you want to cut? And with a laser cutter you basically have two settings. The speed of the head and the power of the laser. That's it. And once you cut that reference sheet, you basically have all the info you need and you can just, you know, you can start cutting. So it's very intuitive even for somebody who never used a machine like this. It's very simple. Uh, for example, you know, I see on, on Etsy all these things that people do, like coasters and earrings and stuff like that. It's just simple designs and people actually earn good money with laser cutters, I guess. But I'm not going to use it for that, I'm, I'm all about miniatures. Anyway, if you want to find out more about Flux uh, laser cutters, the link is going to be in the description. Uh, and in the meantime, stay tuned because we are preparing some new videos, we have some new projects and I'm gonna build some new miniatures as well and I'm gonna show the whole process of building and we're gonna film something and I don't even know what we're gonna do but until then stay safe and uh, um, yeah we'll see you soon cheerio